Hunter x Hunter episode 46, condition X and X condition. Oh, they actually did go to a deserted place. What's the plan? Oh god, they circled back to it. Oh, I cannot. Maybe he's a little bit inebriated? Maybe that's a plus? He did drink like 42 cans of Heineken. He's still drinking. I'm glad they didn't leave that thread. <laughs> Hanging, as disgusting as that was, because I was so worried for him. Oh, damn. I'm also wondering about that. Probably not. Some stand out. Right. I mean, we don't know the chronology either. We don't know for sure that Uvigin was involved in that, I don't think. Hisoka mentioned that he entered afterwards. I mean, this fight's happening either way, but I think it's going to circle back and point to Hisoka's target, the leader. Sort of. It became a treasure. Oh, okay, that answers that. He sees this coming, though. Killing? Killing those out for revenge. And the Earth once more annihilated. He's not gonna let that happen easily. And do we have any other plans or attacks other than this chain? Oh, I think feel like it takes only one, and that's the end of Kuripika's left arm. That much is obvious. It's, mo it's moving. There's motion. How? What? What's the trick? Oh, the trash talk. Maybe triggering Uvogin's rage is the best thing you could hope for? Kuripika, speaking of which, oddly or interestingly calm. Uvogin got it under control. I'm also a little bit drunk. Oh, wow. This is amazing. Honestly, I did not expect Kurpika to put up this much of a physical fight. Let's just jump to 100, why wait? So calm. Yeah, hiding, hiding the den. Alright, now the, surely the left arm, gone. There, yeah, there, there it is. Funny that she's having a he's having a conversation while rocketing off into the distance. Wow, he in the chains. Wow, very clever. The Kurpika just win? That's the confidence, I guess. Then Kurpika just kicked him around for good measure. I like how this big brute Uvogin is also like a dedicated Nen student. Yes, please expo exposition us, Kurupika. Oh, I was wondering how the eyes would factor in. Or like how it connects to Nen. What does he have? Two, two forms based on the eyes? You're not gonna reach him emotionally. I don't know. I don't feel like I feel like it's a bad idea telling Uvogin what he can't do. Uvogin listens to nothing. People, anti-tank missiles, doors. 
どの系統の能力も 100% 引き出せる Whoa, that's overpowered. You're right to be afraid. It's the first time Uvagin has felt fear. What is this feeling? <laughs> well, second time. The first time is when his junk was threatened by leech eggs. I was thinking in hypotheticals when this whole Nen tree was introduced that maybe someone truly masterful and dominant, transcendent when compared to normal humans and Nen users, could find a way to make all of the rungs work. <laughs> Kurapika was just born into it, born with that potential. We're already getting it. But I feel like there's some details we still need. Like, I'm guessing he has to rotate between one at a time. Sorry. No. Yeah, there's a lot we we didn't see in this backstory. Of course, that means chain to Kurpika as well. Yes, there it is. Right. Where did he learn about the pact stuff? Right, you got my attention. Say sorry first. A fate worse than death. You need a punishment. That's a big one. Alright, now we're caught up. <laughs> That explains it. I don't remember if I thought about this during Jujutsu Kaisen, but what is the real life equivalent of a pact? It's an intuitively interesting idea. There's got to be something to it. Could be something like the fact that there's a lot of power behind one's will, making promises to oneself or some some higher authority. It's like channeling your intention and energy and your consciousness, your awareness, which are all outlets or or functions of human power towards like creating something. The risk being that if you abuse it or if you don't deliver on what you promised, it affects the level of power you have to make future promises. One very down-to-earth way to think about that is just if you make promises that you don't keep, other people don't trust you. But critically also that applies to yourself. Like if you tell yourself, all right, I'm, I'm going to do this thing or I'm not going to do this thing and you don't, you are affecting your own personal self-record and the belief in your own ability to affect things in your world, which like that feeling that you can affect things, I think is so critical in one's own self-esteem and just general sentiments about life and the world. You'll find that the greatest senses of despair outside of just calamity are a feeling of of not being able to affect anything positively yourself, that you're just a victim of the world and circumstances. So like making a kind of covenant with yourself for a course of action and breaking that covenant affects your ability to to make good, successful covenants in the future. And that's something that's maybe critical in any kind of personal advancement. In a way, maybe you are sacrificing some of your, your life's essence or energy, you can conceptualize that as being a very dire trade-off. That's just one reading of what I'm sure are many. Is Kurpika the chosen one? And healing. <laughs> My expectations of Kurpika just went through the roof. This is critical information that we did not have. I don't know if physical strength is the best pass fail metric. I mean, I have no idea, but it's possible Uvagin is the easiest to subdue with the chain because it's different from physical strength. Okay, he's addressing exactly what I just objected to. Uh, but still, knowing how complicated Nen is, who knows? This was way more deliberate than it appeared with all Kripika's rage. Whoa. Damn, even the physical punching. You were just my experiment. I hope you brought your your muffs, your plugs. Oh yeah, then it's subdued. Ufuk just scares me, man. <laughs> and now we're torturing. How much does Hisoka know about this? Probably not, not everything. Hisoka chose a great ally. Oh, 
Okay, this is this is a relief because otherwise Grimmy goes just way way into the darkness in the last couple episodes. We came here to witness a murder. Wow, you can place conditions on other people. I don't think it becomes the one. Well, he didn't lie. <laughs> that was came from the heart. That was honest. This black and white. Wow. I'm kind of stunned. I'm gonna miss Uvigan though. I really liked him. <laughs> Despite myself. Uh, not much. Just, uh, you know, killed Uvigan. How are we doing? How are we feeling, Kurpika? Damn, this is morbid. Oh, you have no idea. The hell is that? Look at this concern. This <laughs> is always the winner somehow. This is always on top. The guy just can't lose. This is like that extra layer of the thing I was talking about, that like raw life force. It's like the patience, the inaction compared to the action. He's got both so perfectly. This is a walking embodiment of the, the idea of work smarter, not harder. He just got the Phantom Troop to go to war. Hunter Encyclopedia. What is with this <laughs> introducing that after they're gone? <laughs> And now he's in a grave and gone. He was a great character for a couple episodes. This arc is so much fun, I hope it never ends. Did Kurapika just become the main character? I'm wondering where Kurapika stands right now, because that's the first Phantom Troop member he's managed to kill. We've seen a lot of bloodlust from him, yet the, the immediate reaction afterwards wasn't elation or satisfaction of achieving the task, or at least we didn't see it. It was like quiet despondency, disgust. I'm sure that will continue to develop as he gets farther and farther into the Phantom Troop. It's funny to think about during the, the battle arena arc, I was thinking, wow, Kurapika, Leorio, gonna have a long, long road to try to catch up to Gon and Kalua, but I was wrong. It turns out Leorio only <laughs> has the long road to catch up to Gon and Kalua. Gon and Kalua might have to catch up to Kuripika at this rate, having mastered all of every category.